In this video training session, we will be discussing about editing sketched object in AutoCAD 2012. That means how to use different modifying operation, how to apply those over your objects for getting the final objective. So we will look in our session different selection techniques, move, copy, copy base, offset and break, fillet, chamfer, trim and extend, stretch, RA, rotate, mirror, scale, lengthen, measure and divide. These are the fundamental editing operation or the editing tools which we will use in our coming sessions. So, we will understand about the selection set. When you do any modification operation like copy, move or any type of operations, first you need to select your object. For selection, we have different objects. So fundamentally, I use more than 15 techniques which I will teach you during our session. So first we will see the last object. The last is nothing but the last done object you can select because most of the time we used to do our modification operation over the last object. So this last option you can use to select your last object or the previous worked object you can select by using previous and WP polygon you can use for selecting in a polygon manner. You can have crossing polygon as well or you can have window polygon as well. You can add to your selection, you can remove to your selection. All these different principles I will show by using different example. You can use also fencing method and you can select your object boundaries. You can have a group, box, auto, single, undo and multiple options as well. So, I will show you all this explained selection technique in our object. Let us say this is my object, I am interested to select this. So, if you see the object background, these are the piece objects, these are splitted. So, if you go for any operation, like you want to select it, you can go for select. And when you are prompted for select, you can use different technique. If you go for L enter, your last object will be selected. This is the last done object, so this will be selected. And let us say, I am selecting this two, this object and by shift key I can select this also. And let us say I am going for again select and I will go for previous P enter. So this selection couple, these two objects will be selected. This is previous. And you have other technique also, I will go to select, S E L E C T select, you type in the command prompt. Then I will go for fence, F enter. If you go for F enter, you can have your fence, you zoom it, you can have your fence, wherever the fence boundary will get touched, those objects will be selected. You go for enter and you can see all these objects are selected. So you can use window polygon method as well. I am going for select, you type WP, window polygon and once you select window polygon, you can have your polygon, go for enter. So whatever the objects completely within the created polygon, those objects will be selected. If you go for CP, crossing polygon, the scenario will be different. I am going for select and I am going for CP, crossing polygon. If you go for crossing polygon, you can see only these objects are totally within your object and some objects are partially selected. And if you go for enter, this object also was partial but that will be selected. With the crossing polygon, all the objects partially also coming under the polygonal set will be selected but in case of window polygon completely objects which are within the windows boundary are only considered. Just like that you have couple of different techniques like the group and all which I will show in our advanced session. Let us say how to add and remove the selection set. Let us say I am going for selecting, select, I am selecting these are the objects. And I am interested to remove this object and add a new one. So you can go for R enter. You can remove this and you can add new object by go for A enter add and you can select this. So you can add or remove by using the shortcut A or R. R is for remove and A for adding. And this particular option you can use within any modifying option which I have shown like the stretch, trim, scale, offset, 
or a mirror anywhere now we'll start with our modifying operation the move how to move the object so for understanding this we'll take the move command so you can see the modify panel is here you have the move command here if you select the move and fundamentally you can see this particular picture to better understand so you have to select the object first when you select the object like this window polygon or crossing polygon you can select this is the object selected after that it will be in dotted color original object after selection base point base point is something which you need to move as your reference so after selection you go for enter then you have to define your base point this is my base point and where you need to define your second point wherever you place your second object that object will be moved to the new location like the one is shown here this is the first point and this is the second point so the object will be displaced to the new location after executing your move command just like that you can do your copy you can create the copy like the one which i have shown the same example i can take to explain you the copy so this is the object i'll go for copy and i'm selecting this object and go for enter after selection and this is my base point and this is the point where i need to place my copy so when you specify your second point the original object will be there and another new copy will be created but in case of move the object will be displaced to the new location in our coming session we'll discuss about scale trim and advanced command as well thank you